Don't come to me for marketing help when marketing's not your problem. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just come out right up front and say this. As, as the founder of The Social Advisor, I've been asked thousands of times over the last eight years or so for people who run service and advice firms, how do I get more clients? How do I get more business? Help me use social media or LinkedIn or Facebook or YouTube or Twitter or Instagram or whatever it is. Help me use these things to get more clients. That's what I need. And to be honest, in most of the cases where I'm looking at this and I start asking questions, or okay, well, why do you need more clients? What do you actually need? Tell me about your business. What's really happening? And almost all of the time, I'm not gonna say all of the time, but a very significant proportion of the time, the more questions I ask, the quicker I come to realize that marketing and getting new clients is not actually the issue. So many businesses really get to this point where fundamentally their value proposition, their va oh, I should say value articulation because I really don't like the word proposition, their value articulation, their engagement with their clients, their fee models, how they deliver their service, how they engage their clients, how they set and manage expectation with their clients is actually the problem. Or secondly, I then start talking about, well, what about referrals? You know, you've had this business for quite some time. You know, you've built this model that you feel comfortable with. You know, you're saying to me that you're really looking to have a lot more clients because you can handle them. And I look at it and go, well, how many referrals are you getting? What's your organic client referral rate? And when we boil it down to it, it kind of comes out that, well, you know what? You're not actually getting organic client referrals. Your clients aren't referring. And yet you want me to go out and, you know, for help you find ways for people that you've never come across before to get the message in front of them so they become your clients. Well, every single advice professional I've ever asked this question out of a random sample set, in other words, you could have you know, the outliers in either case, but out of a random sample set, you've got a choice between someone you know, calling in out of the phone book randomly or referral from one of your best clients, which one would you choose? And I've asked that question in one way, shape or form thousands of times before. And to this date, not one person has said to me that they want the random person. Every single one of those people has said universally, I'll take the re referral, thank you. And yet I have these businesses and people come to me and say, you know what? Everything would be better if I just had more revenue. And the best way for me to have that additional revenue is by bringing in more clients. So all of my problems would be solved if I just had some more clients. And the cold hard truth is that for most professional services firms that I encounter, the best way for them to get what it is they're actually looking for, which is scalability, profitability, a reduction in pressure upon them as the business owner, the best way to get those isn't through marketing. Now, by the way, I'm very well known for using social media and helping people in professional services firms to tell their story and get their message out there to create connection drives and to go through and understand how to carry themselves online and, you know, social selling and running events and doing Facebook ads. And, you know, we've got tons of intellectual property on that stuff because I really enjoy it. But the fact of the matter is I'm not going to give you those answers when you come to me and say, hey, I want more clients, and the issue isn't that you need more clients, it's that you should take a different look at what you're currently doing. If you're a good advisor, if you're good at what you do, and you create a life impact for your clients through whatever your denomination is, then you should be receiving a significant amount of organic client referrals. And the truth is most of the stuff we talk about with social and digital media isn't to attract you know, people that you don't have exposure to, it's to increase your referral rate significantly. But even then, there's no point growing your referral base if your value articulation, your pricing, and your business model are not set up to actually work and function correctly. 
So that's my message to you today. Don't just take a look at things on a surface level. Ask yourselves the hard questions. Is your business model appropriate? Thanks very much. Cheers.